Well, we went to dinner last night at our favorite Italian restaurant on Sunday night to have two for one. And once in a great while to have asabuco. So Tim and myself, we got that. And my two little buddies outside are enjoying the asabuco bones with the marrow inside of them. <laughs> if you could see, it's a bone graveyard out there in some places. The wind has uh, died down. Dies low about six o'clock tonight. I don't know whether to go to low tide on the bay. Look at the eagles coming in. Damn. Or go to uh, the button patch. We'll see how it goes. I'll tell you a story one time about this boat. This is an Easter rig dragger called the Elsie Jane. Once a long time ago, about 12.30 at night in the Atlantic Ocean, right outside the Chesapeake Light Tower, I was uh, lucky enough along with a few of my friends to be dragged into this boat from this side over here, past those trawl doors. A big black arm reached over the side and snatched us in from a disaster. I'll tell you one day. I think it was January the 12th. Rough as bricks. We have a resident squirrel that lives in a tree over that way. If you can see her. She is hawking him, and Jack has hawked her bone when she got up to go check the squirrel out. She's losing out on the Mara. That squirrel drives her crazy. That's her only obsession in life, is to get that squirrel. She has never accomplished it. But her vigil is unbelievable. Well, it's Monday about 10.30. We're headed over to the patch. The woods patch. But I got a feeling we're going to go back to low tide at the Landonata and go to that patch. We're just going to walk down here and see what happened. You still see it's rough as bricks, but nothing like it was. But a lot of sand has been washed away. The other day, you could step right off of this. Okay. The reason I'm going back to the patch is I want to try out this uh, ground balance thing. Somebody said I should try ground balancing. I mean, I can ground balance in my yard, but I don't have the same type of soil conditions. So I'm getting ready to shoot over here to the group to the patch for a few minutes just for a test. Yeah, I hunt for about an hour. That's about all I got. Then I, me and the Mumbles man are going to go to the Landonata if it's not raining. But it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So that's another reason I'm heading over here. I got to come back over here tomorrow, or relatively close to here tomorrow, to drop off those, all those knives you know that I picked up, those boxes of knives, unless I decide to buy them. And I, I'm going to make that decision with the guy tomorrow. It's about uh, 47 today little overcast and like I said possible chance of rain other than that it's uh, not bad I'm dressed nice and warm everything will be fine stand by a minute let me get out of this congestion here Elizabeth City that's where we're headed don't believe everything you read though 
until things are misleading. Well, the first target, I got excited. But it's a shotgun shell. I think the ground balancing might have helped some. More, more to follow on that. But I ain't walked six feet with that first target shotgun shell. Stand by. Five feet away is another one. Might be another shotgun shell. Got an iron sound to it now. Stand by, let's see what it is. Unfired. But check this ticket out. That's an all metals. Now, I don't know what this is. Well, here it is in all metals. Discriminate. I like the sound of it. Numbers are good. Stand by. See what this is. Okay, we got it out. It says 16 out. Solid. I think we're going to go home now. We just want to see if we can find one. Stand by. It appears just to be a flat button. Okay, I think we're headed home now. 
Well, I'm three minutes from the Mumbles man's house. And we're headed to the beach, the land of nada. Tides low at dark, like six o'clock. So we won't get, we won't be there till then. We didn't bring no lights. But we'll get it in at least an hour or two, see what it looks like. See if there's any cuts or any, whatever this big storm has been doing down there. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Well, here we go. Mumbles man's a little ahead of me. I had to change coils, put my headphones back on. We're at 14th Street, the land of Nada. Damn, there's enough traffic down here. You think it's New York City? What the hell's going on with all this traffic? It ain't July. Stand by. I got some new uh, footwear. A lot of my buddies are. Uh, not a lot of them, but a few of them wear these boots called Muck, Muck, M-U-C-K, Muck boots. They come in different weights and different thicknesses and everything like that. These are the thin ones, I think they call them. 20 degree t or temperature or better. Let's see how they do. They're, they're pretty good. They got wide tops. I mean... Why? I mean, I got big thighs. I mean, big, uh, yeah, thighs. And I have a hard time with high top boots like this, getting my leg in them. But I've tried these for a couple of days. Just didn't run the house. I've had them for three weeks. I just never had a chance to use them. Stand by. I don't think you can see it, but there's a mumbles man right there. In the pier. Well... There are no cuts, but I see a lot of new sand up here. It's as soft as you ever want to look at. And a lake over there in the middle of the beach. I don't like it. I see somebody down there hunting. Stand by. We call this Lake 13th Street. <laughs> ah, I know I found a nice gold ring in here one time. October. I made earrings out of it. Pretty. 18 carat, 18 diamonds. It's unbelievable. Stand by. Well, I dug one bottle cap so far in the lake. Nothing, nothing around here. I think we're gonna go. I can't stand it. A lot of sand. Huh? A lot of sand here. Yeah, I know. There's, there's, there's any trash up here. I know it. I found a bottle cap in the lake. Oh, dude, I see you digging here. I think we ought to go. Yeah. Go to the button patch. Going to the, the bit button patch on the beach. That's uh, 20, 30 blocks north. Look how deep the sand is. How, how much you fall into it, how deep the holes are. Ah, oh, damn. That's bad. Somebody's already at the button patch. Beach hunter. I know who that is, though. That could have been him we saw at the pier, because he likes them long walks. From 48th to, we saw him at 10th. No, 15th. That could be him. 
but we'll know when we make the trip over the dune here. Here's your look. Somebody will like that baby. I'm gonna take it home tonight. Stand by, let me pick that baby up. Yeah. After what we saw at the other spot, I got a feeling we're doomed. But we're 30 blocks the other way, so maybe something's changed. Look at the sand that's built up here. It wasn't like this the last time we were here. Forty eighth Street, see? Look at this right here. Sand goes up, comes up. Blows right in your yard. Look at that. He got his own beach now. That big fancy house. I see somebody down there. That could be Beaver. Because there's no way that other guy could have gotten this far back yet. Well, we got lakes all through here. One here, two or three more that way. This looks interesting though. Look at it. Yeah. Lots of nice rocks. No cuts though. I was afraid of that. Look at this soft sand right here. We're just wasting our time. I see a hole here. Beaver must have dug something there. Uh, it looks a little better. Got some swirls right through here. Stand by. Treasure number two. He might not like it, but I'm carrying it home. He's really picky about his balls, I can tell you that. A 30, holy Toledo. I don't believe it. Twenty-five cent, big money, big money. Oh, this is my second thing. Two quarters, Mumbles man's got. What's about the? Right in through here is the only place we find hardly anything. You can see we're a long ways from the beach. We're kind of in the middle of the beach where those lakes are. You can see those lakes down there, I guess. Where the rocks are, little rocks, bottle caps, corn or two, 20. right on top as, as, as gig would say I see roundness
Well, Beaver's still here. I could have bet him we saw way down there by the pier because he likes them long four or five hour hunts into the dark. We're headed to the rancho. I'll see you. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you can see them or not. I got them balls. I just got home. Got the truck unloaded. Look, he's waiting for it. What do you think of that ball, Jack? Here's a new one for you. A hard one. It really bounces. Look at him smelling it. Mmm, what is that? <laughs> I have to play ball when they get mad, even in the dark. Don't I, big old Jack? Jack says, I ain't touching that thing either. Oh, she got it now, boy. <laughs> I knew she'd like it. She don't like the tennis balls. She likes that big orange. Oh, shut up. She likes that big orange ball. Can't see, you probably can't see my, my circus trained dog, can you? There he is. Circus trained dog. <laughs> okay, I gotta go with those ball for a while. I'll see you. All right, here's the land of Nada. Two pennies, a dime, a quarter, some pull tabs, two buttons, some junk, and two nice caps. I actually dug four more caps. I threw them in a trash can coming up the beach. And a ring of some sort. Cleaned up like silver. Rang in at 27. Got no marks inside of it. Ring in a scoop. We'll have to see how it goes tomorrow. Well, these are the boots I had. They're mucks. That's the kind they are. I've been wearing boots for a long time, on and off, since I was 12 or 13, easy. Stand by a minute, my phone's ringing. Anyway, since I was 12, I've been wearing a lot of boots. Now, my buddy Les told me about these when he was here from New Jersey. They make different, like I said, they make all different kinds of these boots. But these are pretty kind of comfortable. They got different soles and different ones. They got nice soft legs that stretch open. That's what I like. And they're tall. So I'm happy right now. GoPro, end the video.